welcome everybody to the game everyone must have on their channel if they have a let's play channel I don't have anything to do with volume that's a problem isn't it okay we not have any kind of volume settings Ugh. anyway I guess we'll just have to play this by ear and see if it works out. Oh, I think I screwed that up. Of course. To be a girl doesn't do anything in this game, like Demon Souls. I'm going to be a pyromancer because you gotta. Witch's Ring. Uh, Orge. I'm not going to customize this very much. I'm playing offline and I'm going to be probably undead form all the time. So it's extremely likely that you're never even going to see this character's face. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Red, because I'm a pyromancer and I gotta. Um, let's see. Guess this is all fine. Maybe it should be. Uh, on my first playthrough, I played as a cleric, but. I think as a pyromancer you can do basically anything you want. You can build however you feel like it. Plus you get magic from the start. And Cleric only has like a healing ability, I think. It's not the greatest. So let's go with this. Uh let's watch this cutscene, which In I don't Oh it does have ancients, does have subtitles. I thought this one didn't for some reason. Shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. How's it feel, Seath? Be a bitch. But then there was fire. And with the fire, not no scales. I'm probably gonna reference the uh the Plague of he Gripes animations a lot because he knows a lot about this game, Death. and he likes to, uh, and of course, light what would you call it, analyze games like I do. He likes to think about the deep meanings behind games then from the dark, whatnot. They came. Oh, scary. And found the souls of lords within the flame. Uh -huh. That's a cool dude. We fight the murder. first of the day. Actually, we fight every single person in this cutscene, don't we? Sort of. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of Chaos. Not necessarily her, but. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight. Definitely fight you. And his faithful knights. All of you. Pygmy, so easily and forgotten. This may be humans. This may be the ancestor of all humans, it's hard to tell. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Yeah, like that. Which is weird because that should really not be fun against dragons, but whatever. Muto unleashed a miasma of death and disease. All the things that can't get sick or die. And see the scales betray disease, and the dragons were no more. And the demons and pardon by you, the gentleman got legs. Thus began the 
age of fire. Yeah, but I mean, the gods did this. But so. soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Maybe that's okay. Maybe the time of the gods can be over. It can be the time of humanity. Even now, there are only embers. Well, I'm not betraying what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick. Oh, yes, maybe I am. Endless nights. Is I believe that's the fluted set from Demon Souls. Oh, yeah. Carriers of the accursed. Called a curse, but I mean, we do get to live forever as long as you keep a purpose in life. So, is it all that bad? Uh, maybe. Who knows? Berserk reference. They're branded. Hey, welcome to Ugly Texture Town. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. Just like it brands the sacrifice and in this land and berserk because the people who the undead are corralled uh, and led to the north worked on this game the wrote it really 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 wanted to make a berserk game they couldn't get the license so they just made tons of references of and threw it instead We go. This there's there's transcendence. Fate. All right, rat model. Hey, bugs crawling along the floor. You. Hey, Oscar. Demon on the roof. <laughs> you couldn't have just thrown me the key. You had to throw a whole corpse down. Yeah. Let's check my controls out. How are they? Yep. That's more or less what I expected. That's my roll. Can't do that because I don't have the, the spell yet. There's my attack. That's my R2. Okay, so excuses time. I uh, originally played this on console with um, controller, obviously. You can kill this guy if you want, you don't really have to. It's barely worth any souls, but you can because you're a psychopath. And because, like, hollows don't really care if they die. I really want to backstab you, but I guess we can't. So, big excuse time playing this on mouse and keyboard. I'm probably going to be terrible, awful, no good, very bad at this game. Because the control scheme is not what I'm used to, what I learned it on, so... Ugh. What do you call it? If it's it's not John's, it's hasn't happened yet. Pre John's. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. We'll call it preemptive John's. I'll complain about it before it actually happens. So, uh, plan is to perhaps not complete an entire area. For, for a game, for, for episode, but uh, yeah, I'll just play for 30 and see how far I can get in 30 minutes. This door opening animation. Hmm, what's gonna happen? This is this very nice quiet room. Maybe it'd be a shame if something jumped down and tried to stop me. Hmm. Nope. I don't even get to do the cool thing this happened, do you? Okay, so if you take black fire bombs, you can actually beat um, 
asylum demon there. First time we meet him. Ouch. Uh, so I'm told. I've never actually tried. I've beaten him first go on New Game Plus, which is more in line with what you're supposed to do. Uh, what do you open the menu with? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, that's my parry. No, how do I open the menu? Help me. Help me. What is the button? Swap items. That's sippy. That would be swap spells. Oh no. Oh no, how do I equip? I thought it was enter. But I can't even I can't even get to the escape menu. This is big problems. There's gesture menu. Great. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I tried that one already. Alternate attack keys on the keyboard? That's strange. Oh boy, this is going to get cut out for sure. Oh, end. The end key, how bizarre. Ugh. Okay, okay, escape to go back. Phew. Oh, hey, options. Hey, can turn down the music. Finally. Oh, much better. Hear that bonfire sound in the background? Oh yes. Feels good. Alright, that should do, I suppose. Yeah, end key. What a bizarre binding. Feels like my house sensitivity has gone down too. Okay, shift is the block. Run away, coward. And now I can end key and put a real weapon on my hand. Well, not the hand axe is a real weapon, so to say, but uh, at least it's not a broken piece of crap. So that's how mouse movement looks on PC with mouse and keyboard. It's pretty garbage. Oh. So once I beat... Uh, maybe once I get back to Asylum Demon, I will pause this recording and check my audio and see if it needs to be changed or modified at all because there's no way to get to that audio setting menu until you're in the game, which is a big damn shame. Oh, this is here. Uh, can't get anything from here yet, I don't think. No. Running doesn't take a lot of stamina, but better to have it than none at all. Everyone remembers that trap, because it gets everyone the first time. Oh, nope. Talk to him. You. You're no hollow. Sure about that? I'm done for. You look pretty hollow. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something. Hey, box art. You and I are both undead. Well, Japanese you box art, not American box art. Uh, no, I won't listen. Yes, I see. Perhaps I was too hopeful. <laughs> Please leave me be. I am not wrong to live, and I may harm you after death. Ah, oh, what a nice guy. No, first give me your Estes flask before you do that. Please. Oh. Um. Why? 
Uh, I actually didn't mean to do that, but now I have his flask, so... Uh, problem solved, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> You're so nice thinking of me, and I'm just going to chop you in the head with my hand axe. Oh yeah, the cracked round shield is quite garbage. I'm still taking damage through it, as you can see. Ugh. And... There should still be some hollows coming up ahead. My pie bromancy flame. Uh oh. No, get out of this. <sighs> no, get off the screen, pyromancy flame. <sighs> what a mess that one was. I also haven't played this game in uh, two or three years, easy. It's been quite a while since I played Dark Souls 1. I've beaten... Uh, I've probably beaten 2 and 3 in the time that, since I've last played. Are you trying to back off to drink? I don't think so, sir. Uh, this is not openable at the moment. If I had taken the... Uh, master key... No, that wouldn't be open at this point anyway. Hello, sir. Oh, cameras. Camera angle. Uh, that was a wrong way to roll. Boy, am I out of practice. Do another swing, buddy. One more drinky drink. That's all I got left. Ah, uh, I forgot you could swing twice. Well, that's okay. I got you. Easy peasy. I expected to have a bad time on him since I haven't played in so long. I also might be able to hear big stompy footsteps still going on. As though there might be another Asylum Demon still here. That would be crazy though, right? Okay, let's take a pause here. Press the S uh, end key. I have to change that. And check my volume. This may be the end of the episode for you. I'm not sure. We'll see. If that's the case, I'll see you next time. Okay, so check my audio. It seems pretty good. Uh, any viewers, if you want to see if you'd like that to be louder or quieter, you should let me know. Uh, what I intend to do with this playthrough is basically just to get through the game, but also I would like to discuss a little bit of lore and stuff I've thought of during this. Uh, this goes back down to the cells, right? Yeah, slide! Yeah, okay. So, first things first. They don't want to deal with the undead problem, so they just throw them all in jail. And it's a really crappy jail. Like, uh, it's supposed to be because hollows are too stupid to figure their way out. But they threw me here and I clearly have my faculties still. Like I can cast spells, I can open doors, I can solve complex problems. But, eh, whatever. 
also these bricks here you could say these bricks just fell out of the wall this one actually looks like it did fall out of the wall this here this is a completely solid wall there's still a pile of bricks left over so apparently someone walled this up like there may have been more and they're just walling things off if they're too dangerous in certain places which is kind of an interesting solution I guess maybe Oscar or the other knights are doing that. Obviously there's Asylum and Stray Demons who are de facto the guardians of the Asylum. Though they don't seem to be guarding it willingly, they're just kind of here. And you do have to kill them to get out, or kill Asylum Demon anyway to get out. I keep thinking there's going to be three hollows here, but that's when you come back. Spoilers, if you don't know Dark Souls 1, you do come back to here later in the game. Uh, I believe it's an optional area, but it's super good to do. Also, there is this game's crow right off the bat. And fans call this crow Snuggly the Crow because she wants things that are soft and things that are warm. So you should think about that as you go through the game, thinking of things that have description of being soft or warm, or you with your human brain knowing things that are soft or warm. Let's watch this cool crow cutscene. Oh yeah, spoilers. In the ancient <laughs> So, uh, we saw that small crow, and this is an entirely different, bigger crow. Where you can see that eggs in the nest were much, much bigger. Uh, there is a goddess called Velka. Velka is the goddess of sins. Sins and, like, punishments and stuff. And her avatar is a crow. So... This crow may or may not be Velka herself, or just like one of Velka's servants that decides that uh, the Chosen Undead, which is your character in whatever the multiverse of the game. Hey, look at those bad textures in the background. Looking great, 2012. Uh, actually, this is more like 2009, and the Prepare to Die edition came out in 2012. Anyway. That crow may or may not be Velka herself, or maybe just like a servant of Velka that decides, uh, you know, it would be good if we let the Chosen Undead out to perhaps uh, do my bidding in the world. Well, you don't really answer to Velka, but I think you go around punishing those who are guilty by chopping them up with your swords. So, and in some cases you also punish the not guilty, but uh, we won't talk about that. Um, so you could infer that. Also, this guy. Hello. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. I'll be sure not to press R1 around you. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in Can't the undead. Can't get a good shot of his face. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. That's about as good as I'm going to get. And something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, also, it is why you came. There is no Japanese voice acting in this Japanese game. So all of these, even in the Japanese version, these characters speak English. And part of the reason all of the characters laugh is because laughter is universal. You can figure out 
you know, someone's general mood, what kind of person they are by hearing them laugh, or even if you can't, like, understand the language they're speaking. So almost every character laughs in this game when you talk to them. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am What's up, haircut? Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Your stupid bowl cut. Stupid blonde bowl cut. Idiot. Hello there. Stupid face. I Fat armor. That I have requested that we retain our distance. Oh, I like this guy, by the way. I want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. Here, Maybe have go ahead. Have this it's item. You. We'll, we'll we'll be friends. Have a penny. <laughs> You again? Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Pretty sweet, dude. You? Like, your miracles suck, but, uh, I'll take them. Well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Uh, do I want to go way of the white? I don't. That is a shame. But each to their own. Speak to me if you have a change of heart. Uh, Way of the White Covenant. Um, it's... What does it do? I think it doesn't really do anything. I think it, uh... Moves you up to... Do co-op with people that are also within the... In the Way of the White Covenant. I don't know, really know. I guess I do have to... No, I can talk to him again and he will... Sell me miracles, right? Very well. Ah, whatever. I'll leave you later anyway. I'm playing this entirely offline, and it's always going to be in hollow form. Let me share my so, Only their there will be, will be basically no effect in this covenant, because I'm not going to do any co-op. Shrug, my favorite one. The famous one. Uh... I don't think I... Hmm, maybe. Nah. Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings... I thought I would, um... Maybe do some miracles, maybe some lightning spear, but I can't really do lightning spear because you need to do online stuff to get lightning spear. You need 15 uh, sunlight medals, which is super hard to do all offline, if it's possible at all. So, first things first, let's waste as many as possible. Uh, what does endurance do in this game? Equip load up and a bit of stamina. I want to get vitality to 20 ASAP. Uh, let's do three in Vitality. Once I get to 20, then I'll start doing other stuff. Okay. And then... Uh, if I lose 270 souls, I don't care. So, what we're going to do is make little runs into the graveyard here. And I will try to grab the items out of the graveyard and not care if I die. Actually, first things first, let's stop over here and get some items. It's just a soul, who cares? We'll feed that to a certain someone later on. I'll save it until then, because it's worth more, more souls if you feed it to him than if you uh, break it yourself. Run, 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 run away. Oof. Their collision box is there before they actually stand up. An ox, that's what I really wanted. Uh, there is a Murakumo over here, right? Somewhere? I'm gonna probably take a few deaths to get this. This is a Y hander. Okay. Oh, well, Murakumo is that gigantic sword that the, the giant skeletons have, isn't it? Okie dokie. Uh, there's one more thing over there. It's the... 
Oh, I forget what it is. It's like a S stock or something. It's not S stock. The stock is too good to be right there. Uh, I don't remember what the other item is. It's like a firebomb or something. Uh, something stupid, I'm sure. Anyway. Let's grab this and get out of here. Oh, it's a soul. Uh, my souls are not in a convenient location, so forget that. Let's run for it. I'll have to go up there and get that a little bit later. Uh, but right now I'm doing death runs, so... I want to go down and get the Firekeeper. Is it a Firekeeper Soul or a Shard? I can't remember. I think this game is Firekeeper Souls. Upgrade your Estus Flask by one. And the only way to get more Estus Charges is to Kindle. I think. So it must be a soul. Oh boy, my nose is real itchy. I'm sure you can hear this on the recording. I'm scratching my nose. Oh. Also down here is... Uh, it's some kind of sword. It's like a stabbing sword of some kind. Mm. It's not something I usually use. Uh, my plan on terms of build is pyro and uh, strength, because I always strength build. I always get nice and big and strong, wield whatever the heck weapon I want. Uh, I guess technically I'm doing like a quality build because I'm doing uh, strength index. Yeah, there's this guy. I almost forgot about him. Hmm. Actually... Can I? I cannot. I really wanted to backstab you, dude. Yeah, S stock is down here. How weird. S stock is a relatively good weapon for dex builds, which I'm not really technically doing. Yep, bye. And this is just a transient curse. That's fine. I won't be using that right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Going down here, controlling this with mouse controls. Oh, you can see it's bad, right? Oh, precision with these mouse controls that are super, super... What would you call those? You would call them floaty? That's not the right word. I'm probably going to fall off here several times. Hey, if it is Firekeeper Soul, cool. Hey! And of course I died, but that was expected, so it's fine. Whew. I think that's all. Oh, I do want to go back down and talk to Rickert. Mr. Berserk Reference number one. Rickert of Vindheim. Uh, if you don't know Berserk, and I don't blame you, I have introduced Berserk to many people who have played Dark Souls and knew nothing about Berserk because... And, uh... The reaction is usually either, that's awesome, or that's the dumbest ever. Why did they do this? Why did they make all these Berserk references? With very little in between. Very, people, very few people don't care. So, there is a character in Berserk, straight up, called Rickert. And he is also a blacksmith. So they weren't even trying on this one. Uh, Rickert makes guts. Uh, he made the... Well, actually, he's the apprentice of the guy that made Guts' sword and his uh, repeating crossbow. The repeating crossbow is not in the game, but Guts' original great sword before he gets the Dragon Slayer is in the game. And I will be sure to point it out and show you. And I may even grab some, like... Reference pictures of Berserk and to show how exactly the same they are. Listen to the echo effect on this guy. I freed myself, sort of. 
or, well, maybe Velko helped me get out, I don't know. And some guy named Oscar who I killed. Yeah, it's weird. Hmm? All you Vintheim guys. What is it? Love your magic. Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escaping. You don't even want to leave. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, there's not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons. Albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show and you maybe the best in the you're not really the best, but okay. Uh, and no joke, he is a uh, blacksmith. He can repair your stuff for you until you get the ability to do it yourself. He can reinforce for you. I don't have any materials for that. And he can modify you to have magic weapons. Smithing helps soothe my nerves. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Let me wither away out of idleness. So. I think that's going to be that for this episode. I'm going to head back up to Firelink. Uh, not much else to say. Oh yeah, this is a shortcut that I can't go open because I didn't take the master key. Uh, master key lets you skip a whole bunch of stuff. And for that reason, I kind of don't want to do it for the LP. Ordinarily, I always take it, but uh, we'll go through things the intended path. Although I suppose the master key does kind of stick to the intended path, because it is something you can take from the beginning. And it's probably the best gift to start with, I would say. The other ones are all things that get used up or have minimal use on their own. So, almost back up to Firelink. I guess I will say thank you for watching this first episode of Dark Souls, where not much happens, but... Uh, you kind of have to get this out of the way. You have to get the asylum done so you can actually start playing the game. And in front of Anastasia, who we don't know her name yet. Okay, where's, where is the... Yeah, here we go. This is what I want. I want... Wave. Wave to you, the audience. Thanks for watching. My brand new Let's Play of Dark Souls that everyone must do. See you next time.